Hello there YouTube. I just wanted to make another quick video about um, the noise uh, production of my Ender 3 S1. Um, let me turn the unit on so you can see or hear at least what kind of noise production it's making. Well, that's it. It sounds like the fans aren't spinning, but they're actually spinning. The motherboard fan is spinning. The power supply fan is not spinning because I did uh, replace the power supply that comes with the S1 uh, from Creality uh, to uh, a Meanwell power supply, which only turns on after a certain um, um, temperature. Uh, that it reaches it turns on so um, when it's just idle it doesn't uh, turn on but I can assure you when even it turns on uh, you can't hear it because I uh, uh, installed silent fan on the uh, meanwhile power supply uh, so it's actually almost the same as what it what you can hear now uh, so actually you don't hear nothing it's uh, it's very, it's just quiet. It's just, there is no noise at all on the system. I will turn on the parts cooling fan. Hold on, not there, but here. Temperature, fan speed. I'm going to turn it on to 127, which will be the speed that it's actually going to be but maybe this is a little too low let me turn it to 200 you will kind of start of here it's 200 well, make me just full speed now you can hear it but that's actually because the fan is connected to 12 volt rail so um, it still needs to be uh, stepped down to 12 volts as I said mentioned in earlier videos um, this is what it's making with 24 volts but the fan is made for 12 volts it's the maximum rated uh, voltage that can come on this um, uh, fan of Noctua that's why you can hear it blow but I'm guessing when you, I mean, when I change the uh, 24 volts to 12 volts, it will be almost like this. But it's not linear at the moment. You can see it's just turning very slow when I put it to 150. It's not linear. It's turning really slow, which is not... Um, normal and this one also on a tw uh, 24 volts uh, rail instead of 12 um, so soon I will install a, a Zener diode on these cables and then you will be able to compare it to the original noise production to the one that I made but I'm so far very glad with this system um and if somebody is also getting a hard time or having very difficult time on um, getting this machine silent you have to print this part parts cooling fan and the hot end fan one combo and then you just reassemble it and uh, i do have to keep this part because it's actually a uh, one part with the sear touch so you can't actually just get rid of this to make it less uh, heavy because it's well maybe you c I can or somebody can make a, a model and a 3d model so you can just print it and uh, just only have this part uh, but 
that's maybe in the future um if you like the video leave a thumbs up if you don't like the video leave a thumbs down uh, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future then subscribe to my channel thanks you thank you for watching have a good day bye